It is the holiday time of the year, but after eight calls for assistance last week, we did not expect the four calls for assistance in about an hour and a half on Tuesday the 10th. First call around 0700 was to a runabout in the vicinity of the nearing shoal, and Rotary 3 was dispatched to this call. Then there was a call to another six metre runabout, also in the vicinity of the nearing shoal, so a second crew were called in. The car park was full of trailers, and the radio operator was inundated with calls. On our way to the second assist, we were tasked by the water police to investigate an EPIRV activated around 20 miles offshore around the southern Barham Bank. This took priority and we increased speed to investigate. Then there was a call from a small vessel with engine failure off the mouth of the Marucci River. When we were around 8 miles from the EPIRV position, it was ascertained that this had been an accidental activation and so it was called off. We were on our way back to the Marucci River assist when he radioed that he had been able to get his engine going, although sounding very sick, and make his way to the harbour entrance, and eventually he got back under his own power. So we diverted again to the original assist and left Rotary 3 to cover any further assistance required. <laughs> You called us for assistance? No, no. Okay, well, there's a boat here somewhere. Can you see the diver in the water? Yes, I did. Okay. It is very helpful if vessels display a V-sheet, particularly when there are a lot of other vessels in the area. Mornings like these place a huge and stressful workload on our radio operators and whilst we made arrangements to get us some help in the latter stages, a very big well done to radio operator Kerry Teague for her handling of this difficult morning.